Okay, Gabriel's Grill and Bar, Bananas Comedy Club Holiday Inn, Route 17 uh, South in Hasbro Kais, New Jersey. This is shooting the shit. It's only Monday, unfortunately. Shooting the shit. Another unplanned, unscripted, unrehearsed, whatever. Headed for Gabriel's uh, Grill and Bar. Okay, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't plan any of this stuff out. It's kind of like what Jackie Gleason did with the Honeymooners. All right. I will. <clears throat> now enter. You never know who you're going to meet because people from all over the United States and all over the world come here, right? They stay at this Holiday Inn to, to save money on uh, New York City, Manhattan hotels. They save a good deal of money and also um, they, um, there's a shuttle bus that takes them to the, uh, 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 what do you call? Uh, the bus stop that, that runs into the into the city every 20 minutes or so uh, back and forth and they take them to our very large shopping mall um, in Paramus, New Jersey, the Garden State Plaza and uh, they have a great service here all right okay here we go entering entering Gabriel's there's Gabriel's Yeah, with all these fountains, even the small ones they sell for the home, you have to keep the motor wet, otherwise the motor literally burns out, the, the, the pump. Really? Yeah, like if you, if you see like a real interesting home fountain for 20 bucks, let's say, or less, and you get it, just make sure you, you keep it full, because you can't let that motor dry out. You can barely keep those lights alive, so I'm gonna put the rest in. Well, if you can't, if, if you don't have the lighting, for house plants, you can probably like, yeah, like the like the bamboos that like the like the bamboos that, yeah, that they put the yeah because they like it dark yeah. they're actually draxinias and they like they they could the dimmer the the apartment the better they do if as soon as they're in front of a bright light they turn yellow and die like, nocturnal. like what they're like, nocturnal. They're like vampirish one time I had um um a black jewel orchid from Indonesia. I didn't know that it had to be kept very dark, like very dim, super dim. I just had like a, a, um, a daylight a bulb from an LED light and the thing was dying on me. No, it doesn't want it. This, the, it's, this black jewel orchid had like a velvety blackish um, purple, like purple leaves and had tiny little pinkish white flowers. And it, was, it wasn't it was um, the kind of orchid, like a phalaenopsis that, that clings to a tree. It, it, it you know, it's, it's terrestrial, it goes in the ground, right? So uh, all of a sudden it was dying. I, it was burning out from like minimal light. And then I, found, I learned that they gotta be kept dark. That's weird, though. It, it, I didn't have it in front of a, like a window or a sun. There was a guy earlier in the day outside the bitch phone. Of course, he had his jeans way down past his ass. And I that bitch, I'll never stay here. That happened. Funny look. No, you're not angry. Prunes might do the trick on me. <laughs> I don't think anybody understands. Nothing. There's nothing I want more than to see your underwear. Say, you got swamp hands, I know. <laughs> Uh, screw. Huh? 
Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, you know, it'd be great if they they build the Popeyes on the other side of the Holiday Inn, because uh -huh. it's like not even it's so such great qualities. It's not even like fast food. No, it's like everything about it. You've got a KFC over there. Yeah, but it's like where KFC? How would you mess it up? Uh, it's like oh, come on. You you. Do they ever have like chicken pot, pot pies here? You know, the deep dish, you know, the meat pies. Krofnes oh, might do that. I know, I was there la last never, night. We never had it. I was there last night, and our wait, wait, waitress was Mexican. She had dimples and everything. Really? I gotta go see her. Come Is she cute? Primo. Primo. I was expecting that. Was expecting In Krofnes. In the Krofnes? Yeah. It's a waitress. City Hall told me there's wild turkey and coyotes in my town. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, I just, right over here. I just one town. And they're and they they're dangerous. It's true. My brother-in-law's house is about 10-15 minutes away. Deer comes right in his front lawn now. Wild turkeys are cool. They're funny. And they make that funny sound. They, they kind of make like an... They can be. Well, geese will chase you. you know. We have tons of Canadian geese that decided to stay in my town. Years ago, did you ever watch a uh, uh, right. taxi TV show? Uh, uh, this conversation is not very hard. Uh, uh, taxi place. Yeah. Yeah, it, all, it was just funny and great. Anyway, two was burned out from grass. Two leaves in the elevator with a friend. Like, and one of her wealthy older friends was there. She said, in the elevator. Oh, yeah, I want you to come to my squad. And bring your friend Jim along. Oh, man. Bring your friend along. So the elevator stops, the door opens, the old lady gets off and stops me. Hmm. What are the squabs now? It's a pigeon. <laughs> Squab. What a funny name for, for roast pigeon. We had it, uh... What did you say? For what? I had quail. I became a boar. I just went blind. You ever have roasted quail? No, I have dove. Yeah, Texas dove are big. They bring a big pile because they're trying to make a meal. I thought they were going to bring a crawfish. I thought they were bringing bars of soap. Get it? Dove. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this crawfish in the north, Where? They're, they're big. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh, no zebra mussel. <clears throat> I saw photos of crawfish from all over the world, and this, it's a huge family. Yeah. Big claws, too. You know, all the traps are based on the same science of two funnels going inward, and these creatures somehow, they have no problem getting into it to get to the bait, but they can't turn around and come out the other way. Yeah, they can't get out. Yeah. There's something about their their senses. They just cannot go out the opposite way from a funnel. Yeah, it's like a pitcher plant when a, a mouse or a frog slips into uh, the pitcher plant. Ten to two now. What's the score? I can't see. From 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 wine. Oh really? Oh, red wine vinegar. You know, slugs love beer. Like if somebody has slugs, slugs in the garden, and you put like a shallow container of beer, they, slugs in the garden. Dun, dun, dun. No, they go in and they drown. They love the beer, but then they they sort of drown. <laughs> I'm gonna get high. Yeah, but Billy, Australia's got exotic slugs that are like, like fuchsia or magenta pink, and well, then good for Australia. And, and and Northern Europe has bright red ones. Oh, that's I love to captive breed those bright red slugs. Like they, I don't know, put them, sell them on uh, Craigslist. <laughs> slug Ranch. I'll call it Exotic Slug James's Exotic Slug Slug Ranch. Yeah. They're redder than those straws. They're, it's like a... Slugs for sale. <laughs> Louisville Slugger. No, I can't... Yeah, oh, the newts? Oh, those are the Asian uh, fire-bellied uh, newts. Yeah. You know they shimmy in the, up the corner of the aquarium, and but you know how where I found mine in the bathroom where all the moisture was all the way in the corner, the same spot every time they used to escape. It's, I knew exactly where to find it. Slug Ranch. That's you know that's very that's fascinating. Really. Yeah, but they're like multicolored slugs. Slug, slug chowder. That's right. I can picture him telling somebody soup of the day is slug chowder. Slug chowder. Remember the cartoon, the cut in the comics? Papers years ago, Nancy and Sluggo? They're kind of. Well, there's a bunch of people. Two places. They're kind of like okra, actually, slugs. They're slimy. Like, like okra. Yeah, okra Winfrey. Okra, if she had a daughter, she'd name her, her daughter okra instead of okra. Okra doesn't have sex. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, she doesn't really. I heard she paid zero for those cars. That was all promotion. I think Bonnie and I gave you some free. Oh, all those gifts that she used to give away? Like, it made it. She makes it look like she's giving her popularity. I just don't care. Oh, uh, yeah. And she brags about when, when she gives gifts away, but she's not really, the sponsors put, put those gifts up. You know, she makes it sound, look like she's given it out of her pocket. You know. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
I, I saw the mansion she had on the beach in Palm Beach, Florida. I saw the size of it. They were telling me that's Oprah, that's Oprah's beachside mansion, but her own beach. Wait, there's an olive that you're trying to get at? <laughs> you got to get a, a, a some well, kind of harpoon. Yeah, it's fun to starve to death while I try to get the olive. No, I love I love people. But you know how great you know how great the olives taste in a martini, a vodka martini. It's because they're they're fermented in, uh, in vinegar. It's, it's a certain semi fermentation, I guess. I like crunchy pickles, like, you know, like from a, yeah, I don't like the limp, the limp supermarket pickles, I don't like those. Oh. Or dill, garlic, or both. You know, you know the big stuff, Queen Olives? Queen Olives are called. The real big wood stuff with the mental the cold giant stuff. Oh, the red, the red the red red. Red. Uh, the twigs, uh, the twigs. Oh, this, this this Middle Eastern market called Sahara that's over here where I get the shawarmas and the gyros and all that and the kibbehs he's got olives from all over the world all lined up three ninety nine a pound he says you can mix them if you want but they can, he, like he's he was talking about it they have giant they have big you know the the, the boulevard where, where the one sixty three bus takes these the tourists to, to the city right up the hill to um the next street over for the boulevard if you go the opposite way it's right next to the crow's nest and the carvel ice cream it's called sahara oh i i was telling her about the, the crab cake yeah very good very good place You'll be crying about it. God. Yeah, the uh, Mediterranean uh, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, they are toys. And and, 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 and around around the crab cake my sister had sauteed spinach fresh fresh sauteed spinach and garlic and olive oil around the Maryland crab cake like like in a circle it was like it was like like stir fr like they stir fried it yeah they had all the, around had the olive oil and garlic in with the fresh spinach and I you know it was done Hmm? No, 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 uh, no. She, the Maryland crab cake, that huge, the, at the crow's nest. Yeah, around the outer perimeter. <laughs> oh, you saw the Sonora Desert. New Mex, New Mexico is. Uh, yeah, yeah, give it time. <laughs> Did you? How was that? That's really cool. Not much swimming, but you can play around in the water with them. They came up to you and everything? Yeah. Did you go? Did you go hiking in the in the Sonora Desert in Arizona? No, but I think we'll go to the woods. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
Tucson. Tucson is a. They got blue corn uh, enchiladas and tacos, and they they have this dark corn, dark blue corn. It's like cobalt blue or midnight blue. It's pretty good. That's the, the actual color of the corn. Well, they had that in tortillas too. Yeah, exactly. No, it has a little bit better flavor. Yeah, chips, tortillas, all that. It's all blue corn. When I'm feeling blue. Sounded like Elmer Fudd almost. Be very quiet. Very quiet. quiet. We're hunting wascoey widow, scooey gray rabbits. <laughs> I got plenty of rabbits running around my house. I don't know. I don't know. The hawks, the hawks disappeared, and the rabbits came back. Yeah, yeah. The red, red tail hawks used to nest across the street. Scooey, wascoey. Well, you know, in the desert, the road runners did not go beep beep at all. I mean, I saw yes, they them. They do. They do. Yes, they do. And they do shop at Acme. Where would that even come from? Warner Brothers. <laughs> yeah, but he used to, he used to drop an, anvils well, on. It's kind of like they were straight and sober. And <coughs> the but the coyote never got a concussion. All the anvils that were dropped on his head, I mean, you know, he never got a concussion. He never got. Oh, well, yes, he did. They just, 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 they 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 just, they they just, 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 <laughs> Foghorn Lake Horn. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Lucha, Lucha Underground, Lucha Libre. Oh, 
Yeah, it's definitely climate change, no doubt about it. I wouldn't know what Brawler is in the report. I'm sorry. Oh, you may be talking about the report card. Yes, we are. Oh, he's allergic? No, no, just Well, they can't have bottom feeders. can have shells, like shrimp, mussels, or like Ever? No. Well, it sucks for me, too, because we always like our seafood restaurant. Well, I know a Jewish guy that ate clams on a half shell. He says he could eat it not home, though, not at home.